Well, I, I, you know, I think the story of the game is our poor shooting. I don't, I don't, five for 25, and we hit two threes to begin the game. So you start off in the, in the last 38 minutes of the game, or the, the last, what do you call it, uh, 43 minutes of this game since it was overtime. We went two for, uh, three for 23. Am I right? We hit the first two threes we shot. And then we went three for 23. And we're shooting free throws well, but you know, Manny just didn't have it in that, at that time. He just, I guess he was one for four in that last few minutes. And uh, I asked the players, I told them it's gonna be a big job rebounding. You gotta out rebound them, they did that. I think they played hard, held them. Both teams shot around 33 and a half percent. Uh, we out rebounded them. Both teams had 17 turnovers. That's one area I'm very disappointed. This is the kind of stuff that caused us to lose some games early. Self-inflicted turnovers. Uh, they pressed us, you know, a little bit with the with the one two two, but that didn't that didn't make us turn it over. It was it was moves like what happened at the end with Peacock, where we travel. Uh, you know, we got we got a couple of two three uh, turnovers where we screen on the ball and they call us into illegal screen. So uh, I don't know. It's hard to me to explain. I've done this in my 25 years many times. It, we just didn't look like we were in sync tonight. And uh, give some credit to them because they had some changing defenses. But I think it's more us than it is them. I really do. Uh, you know, I don't think Trey played very well tonight. And I just got finished by speaking to his dad before I walked in here and said, you know, I've been on him this weekend about his effort and practice and his focus. And I said, you know, it looked like he had the same issue today. He just not quite the same Trey that we've seen help win some games for us. And uh, I believe that's a mental thing more than anything. But Nigel, Nigel did not, uh, you know, our two guys with the ball in their hands the most were six for 24. And uh, they had five turnovers between them. And so, you know, that you can't have that and in, in, in win. If we were been, if we'd have been on the road like, uh, playing like this, we would have got beat by 10, 15. So. Not a very, not a very pretty sight tonight. Other than I do think they worked, they they gave me some effort. I just don't, you know, offense is a lot of mental. You know, you got to hit open shots. You got to be ready. Uh, I know that from my own. I was a shooting guard in college. Played at, played at the Division One level, and you, I think you, some of you have heard me say this before. I can't explain why some nights everything goes in, and others. But I will say this: it just seemed like mentally I was sharper on the nights we were shooting, I was shooting the ball well. And tonight we were, we, we just, yeah, we just we just had some open looks. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Did y'all see some missed threes, open threes out there today? One of these threes was, I believe, uh, Trey's desperation, maybe even two of them were desperation threes at the end, Nigel, and at the halftime. So maybe we were, <coughs> Five and twenty-three, but still, uh, I thought we were shooting the ball too quick in the second half. We came down, hit two threes, and all of a sudden they thought it was a fast break fest. So, kind of, kind of shot ourselves in the foot today. Disappointed, very disappointed. Can I answer anybody's questions? You talked about coming into the game that you needed production from Trey but also uh, one of your big men. What do you think of those two performances in that yard? Well, in hindsight, I probably I maybe should have given Eric more time. He was in there busting butt and getting a bunch of fouls. You know, my assistants and I felt like that down the stretch, Emmanuel's experience would be more valuable to us. But, you know, he missed those free throws. You know, how many games did we lose prior to right before Christmas? You know, starting with the two games right before Christmas, We've, we've had a pretty good run. Prior to that, how many games have we missed because of missed free throws, lost because of free throws? You know, and I do a free throw game every day. Every day, it's a pressure free throw game. And we do not do very well in that game. And that's why I tell them, we're not, you know, you, I'm, I'm not real big on letting you shoot the ball real quick if we can't make 70% of our free throws. So, Tyler was four for seven, but he was only one for four from the three, you know, Trey's 0 for 6. Peacock has shot it better than anybody. Our starting four man, Nedjo's 1 for 2. So our, 
our two fours were for three for seven mm -hmm. and our guards are our guards are two for 20 two for 18 how about that our fours are three for seven our guards are two for 18. but even you know look at it i you know i tried a lot of people shelby adams who's been playing very well he just seemed not ready to, he just seemed like he wasn't ready and isaiah Gurley is is, is is our other two guard you know he's He's been hurt so much, he's trying to come back, and but at times I, I feel like he's lost out there too. So perimeter play, and actually I, I will say everybody tonight, you know, I, I did get some good production rebounding wise from our power forward. Alex had nine, Emmanuel had seven. Uh, Eric had four in 14 minutes. And uh, I, you know, my bigs rebounded the ball well. But my, you know, uh, but we turned it over too much. Our bigs also had uh, eight turnovers out of 17. And uh, actually nine out of 17 were our fours, and if I'm reading this right, nine out of 17 were our fours and fives. Eight turnovers were from our perimeter players. I wanna say I admire Coach uh, uh, Cliff Ellis at 71 years old. I'm not sure how he does it. <laughs> That's amazing to me. That is utterly amazing. They had nobody shoot the ball well except for uh, except for a guard that doesn't score a lot of points. Zero. Zero normally does not score a lot. And he's he's got what? He's got nine points. So that's the kid that kind of unexpectedly hurt us. You know, Culverson had 12, but it took him 12 shots to get there. You know, uh, uh, Labinowitz had 14, it took him 10. And Jalen Shaw had 10, and it took him 12. So I thought our defense was pretty good. Uh, they kind of packed the paint a little bit, and we settled a little bit instead of keep attacking. And I get them in. Obviously, our shots didn't fall. I know in the game, they, uh, they were just switching up bunch of different. He has a feeling that maybe you guys play better on the road. Do you guys kind of feel that, kind of see that possibly? I mean, we can beat some good teams on the road. And I don't know, I think, I'm not going to say we play better on the road or worse at home. We just, just one of them nights. And what can you do? 17-51, we ain't making three in the second half. I mean, uh, y'all was watching the game. You see how many open threes we shot? See how many went in tonight? Just keep working, keep getting better. These uh, press conferences have been this close. You know, is it, it, when shots aren't falling, how frustrating is it when you know that each shot kind of matters? Uh, I mean, kind of shooter, you kind of you try not to think about it because if you think about it, then that leads to more missed shots. And, Different aspects of the game get affected if you start to think too much. But I know it definitely, it definitely, it hurts a little bit, especially with us playing so many close games in the playoffs. Because I know thinking on the game, it's like, oh, I could have made that shot. We would have been in a different predicament. But I mean, it's the game of basketball. And shots are going to come on, shots are going to come on. Yeah, I mean, making up what he said, I mean, afterwards, of course, I can go look in the mirror and say, oh, I didn't, I didn't make that shot, or so and so, or whatever, whatever. But if I'm, in the course of the game, if I'm thinking about the shot I miss, I'm going away from what we do, we play defense. So we don't care about missing shots, we play defense, you know. So, I mean, it happens, it happens. So when you're playing as you can, leaving it all on the court, what can you do? 